a rare storm is hurtling toward Earth all the way from the sun. The geomagnetic storm has the potential to disrupt GPS, radio communications and the power grid. But it could also lead to a spectacular display in the night sky. CBS 2's Noel Brennan is in River Grove at the CERN Earth and Space Center on the Triton College campus. And Noel, we hear you needed some actual eclipse glasses today for this. Right, Joe. Thankfully, the CERN and Earth and Space Center had a surplus. So, of course, I picked out the, the coolest and uh, most subtle ones I could find. So, if you held on to your eclipse glasses, take them out, uh, put them on today, look up toward the sun, provided there's no cloud cover, you should be able to see the sun and some a cluster of sunspots. They are 16 times larger than the Earth. And those sunspots are exactly where the storm we're talking about began. Whoop. Here we come. Any day, Chris McCall lugs out a telescope. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. All right. Let's see what we got. Is a day worth looking up? This blocks the sun's light before it ever enters the telescope. The director of the CERN and Earth and Space Center at Triton College is keeping her eye out for a storm. And we have the sun. It's not a storm brewing in the clouds but one exploding from the sun. The sun had several coronal mass ejections in the last couple of days. A coronal mass ejection is a huge explosion on the surface of the sun, usually caused by roiling plasma and twisted and convoluted magnetic fields. Eruptions from a cluster of sunspots have created conditions for a large geomagnetic storm on Earth. In fact, space weather forecasters issued a severe geomagnetic storm watch for the first time since 2005. It has the potential to have some impact on communications, electrical systems, and GPS. So if you're accustomed to having very precise GPS measurements during the height of the storm, that accuracy will likely go away. A potential for disruption but also beauty. But it may be possible to see some auroral activity above the northern horizon. The northern lights could light up Chicago, or at least the distant horizon. Of course, you'd want to get away from the city lights, have a clear northern horizon. The storm may have started 93 million miles away. This is actually two sunspot groups that have merged and the occasional cloud passing overhead. But Chris keeps a close eye on the weather headed Earth's way. Anything that's happening in the sky is exciting. Kudos to photojournalist Scott Placco for getting some incredible video of the sun today. Your best bet for seeing those northern lights? Well, you can see them if conditions are perfect 600 miles away. But of course, you got to get pretty far away from the city if you want any chance of seeing them tonight, hopefully. Reporting now uh, from River Grove, Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica? Fingers crossed. <laughs> you need to figure out a way to incorporate those sunglasses into an actual pair of sunglasses that you can wear. Those <laughs> things are fantastic. Yeah, we'll find a way. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, <looking> Noel. Good. <laughs>